Now, even though my song's not anywhere near completed yet, I'm a bit worried because the internal memory is volatile. If I suddenly switch the machine off now, I'll lose all the work I've done so far. Or if I had a power cut or any kind of interruption, that would be a problem. So I'm going to show you how to save your song to disk at this point. Take your disk, insert it into the drive. The disk, when you get it out of the box, will be unformatted. So the XP80 will not be able to use it straight out of the box. The first thing we need to do is format the disk. So into disk mode, select from menu number one, format, enter. Now, at this point, we can name the disk. I'm not going to do that with this particular disk. It's optional. So I can press execute to format straight away. Format OK, OK. And it says formatting 1 over 80. That means we are 1 80th through the process. This takes just a couple of minutes. So that's complete. Exit, and now we're ready to save the song. Menu 1, Save. Enter. Well, at this point, we can change the file name. It defaults to song 000, meaning it's the first song on the disk. And that'll do for me, for the time being at least. So, execute to save the song. However, we have an option up here. We can choose to save the song only or the song and sounds. Now, if we choose to save song and sound, There'll be data in that section setting up the performance exactly as I had it when I recorded the song. Even if I've subsequently erased that performance from the internal memory, it's a temporary dump of the performance that was used. So that's a fantastic idea, and I'm going to do exactly that. F6, execute. Saving. And it takes no time at all. So what I would recommend is that every 10 minutes or so when you're working, save the song, almost like an auto-save just means that if anything does happen, if your machine gets unplugged, at least you'll only have to backtrack 10 minutes worth of work.